Industries, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Daphne, if you're new here. And I'm so excited because we are here at Fright Fest. We're actually grabbing some Oktoberfest food as we've done each time. If y'all saw my video last week, things definitely did not go as planned. I think that was literally the title of my video. So we're here to try the saw maze. Hopefully it is open. Oh my gosh. So we're back tonight at So we're back tonight on a Sunday. Here is the map of Fright Fest. Last time we did conjuring over here and this time we're going to try and do saw. We are here a lot earlier so we're going to grab some food first from Oktoberfest, which is right over in this area as well. And yeah, and start the night. Here's some Fright Fest. So these are definitely some new props to the event. They have not had these before. Very cool. I wonder if they're gonna be like new icons or something. Heading over to the Oktoberfest area, which is in the DC area, which also the saw maze is in. So everything is really close together tonight, which super helps out. So here are the menus from the places that we're getting food from. I am so excited. This event has been so amazing. Uh, pot roast still does definitely live up to last week's. It is so good. I'm so excited to try these meatballs. It looks like that there's capers on them. I'll have to check back on the footage that I just took and just see what the sauce was, but they look really interesting. So here we go. I think that the meatballs are the least favorite thing that I've had. The sauce is just really salty. I don't know, there's just something about it. So, so far, not a fan favorite, but the coleslaw and the pot roast is amazing. <laughs> so, can't win them all, but yeah, not my favorite. Y'all, so I wanted to try the slider. Okay, so you know how sliders are like small burgers? This is a pound. This is not a slider, this is like colossal ginormous that is one thing about six flags is that their portions as y'all have seen throughout trying all of the oktoberfest items they are huge and this is definitely like this is massive oh my gosh literally tipped over that's how heavy it is oh my gosh for comparison look at it's like it's so big it's a really really good fry tip oh my gosh Announcement 15 minutes to opening ceremony, so make your way over to get, to get our spots for it. I haven't seen opening ceremony the past couple times I've been here, so I'm so excited and it's so good and we're right in the DC area anyways, and that's where opening ceremony and saw is. So once opening ceremony is done, I feel like we'll be able to run over to saw, get it done, is the last maze that I need to see for the event. And now we've seen, I think it was 10 mazes this year, so yay, very cool. So, like I said, walking over for opening ceremony is 6.45 and people are already lining up for Saw. People are already starting to line up for the opening ceremony. I'm doing something I've never done before and I'm going to try and follow them from all the way down here, all the way up to the entrance.
opening ceremony from all the different views was so cool it was so worth it and now i'm like booking it over to saw because no matter what what time i get at it right now it definitely will be the lowest wait time compared to the rest of the night <laughs> so i made it over to saw it looks to be maybe about an hour wait but either way it definitely will be one of the lowest compared to right compared to the rest of the night moving a lot better than Conjuring did last week. Yeah, so I think it might be a full hour wait, but yeah, so far it's moving a lot easier. We do have our little time card to give them up to there, so we'll see. on one maze so I figured waiting an hour I already was kind of expecting it because of how last weekend was but I really feel bad for the people who are just getting in line now because so I feel like that's gonna be almost like a two maybe even three hour wait and so if they got in line right now it is eight o'clock this would probably be the only maze that they'd be able to do so I just kind of wish that the pacing would be better that way we still have our card the time on it was for 7 38 and it's like 8 10 right now so We'll see how long. The maze is just right there. So we have like one switchback and then like a little ramp. So maybe by 8.30, I'll keep y'all updated. <laughs> stretch there's the maze we only have a little bit more switchback it's 8 45 so hopefully we make it by nine o'clock then it'll officially be an hour and 15 minutes we had waited in line for song <laughs> So about an hour and 40 minutes and we have only a little bit more of group to go and there's the entrance
He definitely got me. That was a really good scare. It was really well lit and yeah, it felt very complete. Like I mentioned in last week in my Conjuring video, how the first half of the maze was gorgeous. Felt like I was in the movie and then the second half was just kind of black walls. This one completely done. It was so much fun. It was a really, really good maze. I really enjoyed it. it was almost a two hour wait, but now I've gone through all the mazes of Fright Fest and I really enjoyed this one. It was a great addition and I hope that they keep it next year or keep doing IP based mazes. It was really good. <laughs> Open, but I didn't want to be that person going into the shops when the park was closed and so this time I'm excited to see if there's any conjuring merchandise I'm at the main store at the Emporium in the front of the park and so yay let's check it out here is some of the Fright Fest merchandise here are a closer look at the saw t-shirts that they had over near the maze And here is some of the Conjuring merchandise. It is pretty cute. It has like the, obviously the house and everything on it. I did like the sweatshirt with Annabelle on the back. I thought it was pretty cute. I didn't get anything this trip. I really liked the Billy shirt also. I thought that was cute. A lot of their original merchandise is honestly some of my favorite stuff. I still have no idea what I'm gonna get y'all. What has been your favorite like Six Flags merchandise so far? I just can't decide. So much of it is always amazing. That's one thing that they do really well oh, wow. <laughs> so that's gonna do it tonight from Fright Fest I think this is about our fourth night visiting saw it was great like it was a very chill night just grabbing some dinner and checking out the maze so I got to see the merchandise it is pretty cute and yeah just ending the night thank you all so much for joining and I'll see y'all in the next video bye <laughs>